in uh, this uh, study that actually had a more imaging uh, focus. It was more about pet imaging uh, and, and catching metastatic disease and trying to find ways in which to catch metastatic disease early in patients with medullary thyroid carcinoma. One thing that they found was that a high KI67 score of more than 2.0% correlated with a metastasis that would be pet avid. And they advocated that the primary tumor had a certain KI67 proliferation level that those patients should be followed with PET because you can capture those metastases more easily. Again, going along with the idea of proliferation being linked to prognosis, and in this particular case, metabolic activity in metastatic disease. And this study produced in the uh, European Journal of Endocrinology in 2011, this is getting a little bit more recent, they looked at KI-67 combined with RET expression analysis. And what they found was that KI-67 expression was significantly higher in, in MTCs that had extrathyroidal extension, lymph node metastasis, distant metastasis. They had a different system of, of, of correlating or showing the number of cells positive, actually counting number of cells per millimeter square and not expressing it as a percentage why it shows up a little bit differently rather than percentage, it's 25 cells per millimeter squared. Or in this case, uh, the risk of death was elevated if you had more than 50 cells per millimeter squared. All this is kind of like going around and skirting around the issue that grading is important in the prognosis of medullary thyroid carcinoma, but vis-a-vis -vis KI67 proliferation index alone.